Hello, I'm Brad Myers, and I'm going to be presenting the user interface for Sapphire, a window manager for the PERC personal workstation. The PERC has special hardware to make graphics run quickly on its high-resolution bitmap screen. This is a typical Sapphire screen. First, I'll present how the windows are displayed in Sapphire, and next I'll be talking about how the user can give commands to manipulate the windows. As you can see, there are multiple windows here, and they can overlap. The parts that are covered do not show through. I'll be explaining later some commands that you can use for displaying the parts that are covered. Windows can be partially or totally off screen. You can see that this window is off screen to the left, and I can move it so it'll be off screen to the top. This is useful if it contains information that you're not particularly interested in right now. The windows have title lines which display state information such as the current directory or the program being run, etc. There are a number of windows here, but there's only one keyboard on the perk. Therefore, we have to identify which window is getting typing from the keyboard. Some systems call this the active window, but since we have many windows actively displaying at the same time, we have coined a different term. We call it the listener, since it's listening to the keyboard. Each window is associated with one icon. The icons provide more information than just a cute picture, although arbitrary application-defined pictures are certainly allowed. The typical icon in Sapphire, therefore, provides eight pieces of process and window state information. I will expand this icon so that we can look at what this is. The border of the icon is shown in gray, the same as the window, if it corresponds to the listener. This bug appears if there's been an error in the process. The keyboard appears if the process is waiting for some kind of user interaction. And the exclamation point appears if the application wants the user's attention for some reason. For example, the mail program exhibits the exclamation point when new mail arrives. The actual pictures used can be specified by the application program. Underneath is the name of the process being run. Here we see that the editor has used this space to also show the name of the file being processed. Underneath are two percent done progress bars. These are used to show what percent of the job has been completed. For example, down here we can see that this represents the compiler about, what, 40 percent done on the file sketch. The second bar is used for aggregates such as command files. This tells you what percent of the entire job has been completed. Most application programs will be able to tell what percent of the job they have completed. But if not, we provide random progress. We feel that this will make it the users feel much better about the system, since they'll be able to tell when their programs are running and that they haven't crashed. And also, they can plan their time much more effectively by using the information about when jobs will be completed. The final piece of information in the icon is this ellipsis, which shows whether the window has been sent off screen or not. Since the icons provide so much useful information, we'd like them to dis be displayed all the time, and not just when the window is invisible, like in most systems. Therefore, icons are associated with windows in Sapphire, rather than being an alternative representation for windows. The next important part of the user interface of Sapphire is the commands that the user can give to manipulate the windows. The goal in designing these commands was to provide a good user interface without restricting application programs. The perk comes with a variety of pointing devices, this one being the most typical. Each of these devices has a different number of buttons, and we didn't want to reserve any of the buttons for Sapphire. So application programs, when they are the listener, can use all buttons. To give window manager commands, you press in a window that's not the listener, or you press in a title line of a window. In order to change the listener, for example, you press down in a window that's not the listener. The cursor changes to show a keyboard. When you let up, the command is executed. In conclusion, Sapphire provides a number of innovations in window management and user interface design. 
icons are used in a novel way to enhance the user's productivity when multitasking. The icons present eight pieces of process and window state information to help the user more effectively monitor and control multiple processes running at the same time. The user interface to Sapphire is flexible and powerful for both novices and experts. All commands are available from pop-up menus, but accelerators allow the experts to give commands with a single button press or with a few keyboard keys. The picture in the tracking symbol changes to show which command is going to be given next, providing appropriate feedback. The interface to Sapphire promotes experimentation because of this feedback and because it's always easy to abort commands. This flexibility has been provided without restricting application programs to one style of interaction or to a predefined analogical view of the system. Thank you.